Hey everyone, it's Ellen here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another unboxing video. So if you follow me on social media, you would have seen that I am friends with Michelle from Guitar Goddess and she has been using this brand of guitar for several years now and the beautiful fret inlays have always caught my eye. So when I got the chance to use one of these orange wood guitars, of course I jumped at it and so that just came in the mail today so I wanted to unbox it and share that experience with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. All right guys, so it comes with the orange wood bag. It's a standard gig bag. It has the backpack straps on the back and these are padded. And then it also has the side handle here and the front pouch here for all of your accessories and stuff like that. Okay guys, you get to see it before I do. How's it look? Okay, um, a little bit more about the case. It does have this felt lining and it's really soft. There's also, it's padded like all the way through and then it also has this strap here to like hold the guitar in place. Let's take it out. Ooh, look at that. All right guys, so one of the first things you might've noticed is the beautiful gloss finish. If you're familiar with my videos and my channel, you would know that all my other guitars have always been a matte finish. And so this is my first gloss finish guitar. It's so beautiful. I feel like if you were on stage performing or something, it would really stand out across the crowd, across the stage. Before we play on it, let's go ahead and go over some specs because I'm really excited to share that with you. All right guys, so this model is called the Brooklyn and it's from Orange Woods Melrose series. It's currently marked as one of their best sellers and it's selling for 345 US dollars. The body shape is a grand concert shape and we've got a solid Sitka spruce top and layered Pau Ferro back and sides. The neck is mahogany, which is gonna give it way more of a mellow tone. And the fretboard and the bridge are both made of oven call. Now there is an optional pick guard that you can stick on here, but I prefer my guitars without pick guards because I just think it looks a little bit more even that way. Then before we move on, I did just want to tell you a little bit more about Orangewood as a company. One of the things that really drew me to them is that they really value the customer experience. One of the ways that they do this is that it is a direct to consumer business model. So basically what that means is when you're online shopping for which guitar you want and you purchase it, somebody at Orangewood actually goes through every purchased guitar and sets it up for you before they ship it straight to your door. So not only is it a really easy purchasing process, but because of that, because they skip the middleman, that means that they're able to save money, which they can then pass on to you. So Orangewood guitars will be a little bit cheaper than you would see like other guitar brands at like a third party company, like Guitar Center or any other kind of guitar shop. So just some things to keep in mind. All right guys, and now back to the specs. This guitar was shipped with a fresh set of Ernie Ball medium light strings and the tuners are gold die cast. The neck is a C shape, which is probably I think the most common shape, and the scale length is 25 and a half inches. The nut and the saddle are made of bone, and as we talked about earlier, it has a natural gloss finish. And now guys, for my favorite part of the guitar, the abalone rosette and fret inlays. Like I said at the beginning, these beautiful kind of like angel wing looking inlays are what immediately drew me to the Orangewood brand in the first place. So I'm really glad that they were able to send me this Brooklyn with the beautiful inlays. All right guys, now that we've gone over all the specs of the guitar, I'm really excited to tune it up and play on it and just kind of hear how it sounds. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Alright guys, so even though it was set up before it got sent to me, of course it's going to go out of tune during the shipping process, but we just got it in tune. It sounds great. I love that. I love how, how much it rings, and I think it's the fresh strings really helps with that too. But let's go ahead and play a few things on here so we can get used to how it sounds. Beautiful, I love that. It does sound a little bit more on the brighter side for me. Um, I'll show you guys, you know, the same chord progression on my Martin in a second so you can kind of hear the difference, but it does have a little bit more of a bright tone. But it's also super loud, I'm really impressed because the actual body is not that um, thick. All right guys, now let's try some strumming without the pick. warms 
opens it up a little bit more without the picks. So I'd have to experiment a little bit with different picks to see if that changes the sound. But now let's go ahead and try a little bit of finger picking. If you knew I was gonna play Tears in Heaven as my finger picking song, make sure to let me know in the comments. So what I'm noticing is when I was finger picking with my fingers and even strumming with my thumb instead of the pick, it did kind of warm up the tone a lot, which I really like. And that works out really well because I'm actually going to be featuring this guitar during my own finger style kind of journey that I'll be vlogging here on my channel. So make sure to subscribe if you're excited to see that. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the comparison that I thought would be a little bit more fun to do. So basically this is sitting at $345 and I do have my Martin over there, it's mahogany and it was I think 12 or $1,300. So that one is four times more expensive. So I thought it'd be cool to do a little bit of a comparison demo. So let's go ahead and compare a simple strumming progression. Alright guys, so I don't know if you heard a difference. I do feel like my uh, Martin was a little bit warmer, but things to remember are, you know, these are brand new Ernie Ball strings. Those were Martin brand strings and they've been played on for a little bit now. But um, the comparison I thought is really interesting because the actual size of the guitars and the body shape of the guitars and everything is really similar. Um, so I don't know, I feel like for this price point at $345, it really sounds pretty similar to my Martin, which was at 12 or 1300. So definitely something I would consider a pro for orange wood. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into my first impression. All right guys, first let's talk about value for money. So like I said at the beginning, this was $345, and I do think that it's a great value for your money. I feel like, you know, when you look really closely, it has really good build quality. One of the things that I didn't talk about in the specs portion is that the neck is actually satin. So even though the guitar is a gloss finish, the neck is satin, which, you know, if you're someone who plays and slides around the neck a lot, you would know how important that is to have that smooth finish there. Um, I have had other guitars that are gloss finished, and the neck is also kind of that glossy, sticky kind of feeling, which I don't prefer. So if that's something that you're a stickler about too, don't worry, it's a satin finish. Everything else is glossy and beautiful though. So as far as the value too, um, I do, like I said, they come with the um, setup before they even ship it to you. So if you consider how much a setup usually costs, like maybe $100 or so, um, if you value that into the price of the guitar, that also makes it extra worth it because you don't have to take it in and get another setup after you receive it. Whereas more inexpensive brands that you could get on like Amazon or something, sure they're a little less expensive, but you have to do a lot of elbow grease to get them playable as beautiful sounding as the orange wood was right out of the box. Also really quick, after playing on the orange wood more after filming, I decided to measure the action height because I found it really easy to play. And when a guitar has a lower action, it's easier to press down, so it's really good for beginners. So I found it to be comparable to my Mirio guitar, which is actually advertised as having a low action for beginners, as well as my PRS, which is an electric guitar, and those tend to have lower action than acoustics. And then lastly, here's my Martin Custom X series, which is a dreadnought guitar, and you can see it has a much higher action, which explains why sometimes it's a little bit harder for me to play. So this guitar was the Brooklyn from their Melrose collection, but Orangewood has a bunch of other collections. So if you are more into a different kind of wood, they have like a mahogany collection, things like that. And if you are into a different look, they also have different styles of guitars as well. I chose this Grand Concerts body and everything because I like that size for my body shape and my smaller hands, but they do have a lot to choose from. So definitely go check out their website. They've got a lot of other models to offer. All right, for sound, I actually was really surprised at how loud this guitar can get and even though it has a little bit more of a brighter tone than some of my other guitar models I am really interested to kind of experiment with different strings 
different picks, you know, things like that. That can all affect the sound. And since I will be featuring this in my finger style vlogs and stuff like that, I actually think this might be a benefit for me because sometimes with these deeper toned woods like my mahogany, martin and stuff, finger picking with your thumbs and hands, it can get a little bit more muddy. So I'm excited to see if the brightness of this guitar kind of helps the overall finger picking that I'm about to explore. All right, and obviously for looks, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Like I said earlier, the fret inlays are what initially drew me to this company because they're so unique. I think they are like leaf shapes, but I like to think of them as little angel wings. And um, I don't know, the gloss finish also is so, stands out so much against all my other guitars because it's my first gloss finish and I love the way that it looks, especially on camera with all my shiny lights. And you know, of course the abalone, um, rosette and everything is beautiful as well. All right guys, but that was my unboxing and first impressions. I really hope that this video was helpful for you if you're thinking about, you know, looking into an Orangewood guitar. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Orangewood. Although they did send me their guitar for free, I didn't get paid for this review or anything like that. This is just my honest first impressions and I hope that this helped you. I am loving it so far. I'm really excited to play on it and feature it in my channel moving forward. So definitely subscribe and make Make sure to watch out for new videos featuring the Orangewood. But um, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it helped and I will see you in my next one. Bye.